I've stepped, I would lean, whoom. This is your ultimate guide to body punches. And I've made this video super easy for you to navigate through. So you can see across the bottom right now, which body punch do you want to learn? Which body punch do you want to get better at? Also on each body punch, I want to talk about how to throw it, how to get more power into it, when you would throw it if you're sparring or in a fight, and what it looks like when you're throwing it on the heavy bags, as well as some common mistakes that I see with that body punch. Body punching is very important, whether you are boxing because you want to compete, or whether you're boxing for fitness and you're just working out in your local gym or in your home on your bag. It's a big part of boxing but it's very hard to throw different body punches and that's why I want to make this video so you can get a great understanding of exactly how to throw body punches and when to throw them. And guys, if you don't know who I am, my name's Tony Jeffries. I'm an Olympic bronze medalist boxer, former undefeated professional, seven times national champion, European gold medalist. And on this YouTube channel, I give you everything boxing education, how to punch harder, how to punch faster, how to defend, how to get better reactions, everything boxing. It's on here for you for free. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you get notified every time I upload one. And also I recommend that you email yourself this video for the next time you want to work on body punches, you've got it there and you can go straight backwards. So save it as kind of your body punching Bible if you like. And I've also done a full tutorial on how to box. The Boxing 101 Ultimate Guide. You can click the link below where I talk about head punches, strategies, power punches, speed punches, all that good stuff. But this video, I'm focusing on body punches. The first body punch I'm gonna go over is the jab to the body, the straight lead hand. Now this can be thrown a few different ways at a few different times. And the basic way of throwing the jab to the body is by stepping with your front foot, throwing it all the way out and all the way back. So I'm here. Now the reason why I step with the front is so my body weight is behind the punch, so I get more power behind the punch. And that movement and the momentum of the movement, boom, can really sink that in. But when I am doing this as well, I'm kind of taking my head off the center line. So if you think I've got a line in between my feet right there, that's where punches are coming straight down. I want to take my head off that line and dip down and punch straight the body there. So if, for instance, someone is throwing a jab at us, a great counter punch is the slip, but and jab the body. So I'm slipping that jab to the head and blasting that jab to the body straight in. So when would you throw this? Well, that's one time when you would throw it. You would throw it when someone is jabbing, you would slip and counter and step with that. But other times you can throw it in a different way of throwing it is a way that Floyd Mayweather used to do it. And what he used to do, he would just be up in his boxing stance like this and then all of a sudden he would just pop it out, unexpected. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Bam! Pop it out, looking at your opponent in the face. They're not expecting that fast jab, but with this, you're looking for speed, just to keep your opponent thinking. Now, I used to throw the jab the body a lot when I was fighting and sparring, and I would do it as a setup shot. So I'm in the ring and, I, and I'm sparring or fighting with someone. What I would do, I would maybe feint the jab of the head, boom, jab the body. I'm moving, moving, jab the body. Moving, moving, feint the jab of the body, whoop and then come over with the other punches. So what I'm doing right there is I'm setting up a different combination from that feint to the body. So again, I'm here, I've jabbed the body. I've jabbed the body. He's expecting to jab the body as soon as I come down like that. Defending the jab of the body, the hands might come down. I'll wait for them hands to come down. Whoop, ba ba, and come over. Now I'll show you a little bit faster. So I'm here, jab the body. Moving, moving, moving. Jab the body, moving, moving. He's expecting to jab the body. Feint the jab of the body and come up straight to the head. And that's a few different variations of the jab and also how to get power in the jab and when you would use it in the fight. But it's a great punch and it's a great setup punch and no one really uses it as much as they should. But when you start using that, you know, and you start hitting someone with that jab of the body, it just takes them off the game and it keeps them thinking, all the time. Now let's move on to the cross to the body, the rear hand. For me, my right hand cross, I'm orthodox. When thrown this straight shot, the way I would teach it to someone who's never done it before would be upright, just turning your hips, bending your knees, and bringing it back to your face. So you're dropping levels. So I'm there, and exhaling as well. You know, even with that jab body, you want to be exhaling with each punch. So I'm here. 
This is the basic way of throwing it. That's how I would teach it. And the reason why this is a good shot as well is in, again, another setup shot. Just like most body shots, use them as setup shots. So I would dip down and then I would come up with a left hook. If I'm dipping down and I'm hitting someone with a decent right hand of the body, their hands are coming down, whoop, leaves them open for the head shot as well. So I'm here, I'm here, wah, 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 throwing that body shot and coming back with the head. And yeah, that, that's, that's one way of doing it, boom. But if you notice the way I teach it to, for basics, I'm keeping my head on that centre line. So if they're throwing a right hand on my head, boom, I'm ducking, I'm coming under and hitting them with that. Now, there's other ways that you can throw it, and other ways to get more power in it, where I want to step with my front foot, and I want to step out to the side, so that line's in between. I'm going to step my front foot out to, to the side, but diagonally forward, like that, and then throw it. So I'm taking my head off that line. If my opponent is throwing a right hand straight at my head, I've stepped, boom, and I'm blasting that in. Now with the step, it's getting power in the punch because I'm getting the momentum of the body weight behind it. So I'm here, I'm here, stepping to the side, boom. Now with this, you want your foot and your hand to land at the same time. So again, I'm here, I'm out of range. And because of that step, you can hear the power in the punch. I still wanna turn my hips. I still wanna fully extend the arm. I'm still exhaling at the end of the punch and I'm getting lots of power in it, but the foot and the hand needs to land at the same time. And again, I'm here. Yeah, that's a great one. And then, like I said, you can set up the hook with that body shot. So I've stepped, I've hit him with that right hand. Whoa. Hooks coming round the side there. And you can also do another defense after this. So I could be here, I've stepped, and now I'm in a perfect position here to pivot out and then come back with punches. And if you think that, again, visualize someone's in front of us, they threw that right hand, I've stepped, pivoted out, changed my angle, he's facing that way, ba, 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 and come back in. So I'm gonna show you again, here it is, here it is. You notice I did a pivot hook there. That was a bit more advanced. You can do that, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna show you that one again. Great combo, I love that one. Also, you can see on the bar at the bottom here that I'm gonna show you some combination punches with body shots. So after you've learned the body shots, you can go to that section and learn how to put these body shots into combinations. Now moving on is my favorite body punch of them all, and that is the lead hook to the body. I used to absolutely love this punch. I had so much success with it. There's a video of me on YouTube where I'm practicing this over and over and over again as a 15 year old that was recorded on a Nokia 3210, really bad footage. But that's what I used to do. I used to work on this lead hook to the body time and time and time again, every single session. And that's why I perfected the lead hook to the body. I stopped so many opponents with this punch, knocked so many people out in sparring with this punch because I used to practice it over and over and over again. And that's what you should definitely do because once you master the lead hook to the body, your boxing game is just gonna go through the roof. And the only way to get better at it is by practicing. So there's a few ways of throwing this. I'm gonna show you the traditional way, then I'm gonna give you my method of landing it. A method that no one teaches, a method that no one showed me, but I'm gonna show you it and it'll work for you, I guarantee that. So when you are throwing the lead hook to the body, the traditional way is you wanna have weight on your front foot. So let's just say I threw a right hand or I've slipped. Now if I slip, taking my head just off that set line, putting the weight to the front foot, now from there, whoom, I can really turn in and blast that body shot in. So I'm there, boom, turn into it again. There, boom, slip, boom. And it looks like this on a bag. And you see, I've got some power in that. The re reason I've got the power in that is because I'm rotating the hips. If you don't rotate your, hip, rotate your hips, it's like this. As soon as I rotate my hips and put my body weight into it, big difference. You can see it swinging there. So that's a great way of doing it. And you can th do the slip, hook the body off a jab. It's probably better to do it off a jab. So I've threw a jab, slip to me outside, whoom, lead hook to the body there. Now when you're throwing a lead hook to the head, you transfer your weight to the back foot from your front foot. Lead hook the body, you don't necessarily have to do that. So I'm here, whoom, the, the weight twists, but it's not coming back. If I come back with the weight, 
You know, I'm, it's, I'm still on balance, but I feel like I'm, I'm out of range. And a body shot to lead up the body is generally a, a, a inside range, a close range punch, like that. So I'm here. Yeah, so I'm gonna do it off a jab now. Jab, slip, bam. Now when you're throwing this, you wanna always keep your rear hand up. The huge common mistake I see is this. This will come down. Look at the position I'm in here. You never wanna be in this position, ever. Keep this up. So I've done a one, one. This is up by the face. And with the lead hook the body, that's one. Once you do one, throw two, then throw three, then throw four, then throw five, and keep throwing them. Because you know, the more you throw it, the better you're going to get the, it's repetition, 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 repetition. That's what's really going to help you generate the power behind the punch, but also get comfortable throwing it. And I see this all the time on my YouTube channel, is you need to get comfortable at being uncomfortable. And the more you do something that makes you uncomfortable, it's going to get comfortable doing it, if that makes sense. So keep blasting it in. So it'll look like this here. <coughs> Two lovely body shots there, then three. Yeah, and then I'm relaxing, and I do four. <coughs> and notice this right hand staying up. The power's there, the power's consistent with every punch. Let's try 10 and see what happens. <coughs> Woo! Still got it. Now the reason why I can do that is because I've practiced over the years. And I've got the technique right, and I'm exhaling with each punch, and I know exactly how to do it. I can throw them and keep the consistency of the speed and power the same from the first to the last. And that's where you want to get to. So when would you throw the hook in a sparring or a fight? Well, I like to think if he's throwing a right hand, I've slipped the right hand, boom, and blasted in there. That's the way we get taught, and it's a good way, it's a good method. Or let's just say I've got a guy who I'm, I'm pushing him back. He's got this big, strong peekaboo guard there. Hands come up, but about whap, then whip it in. And it's great to throw it there when you've got someone that tight guard. You throw the small two punches through the middle, ba ba, for the hands to come in close. As soon as his hands come in close, ba ba ba, whip that body shot in there. Or whip the double body shot in. So I'm here, ba 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 ba. And then guess what's gonna happen? If I've hit him with two of them body shots, the hands are gonna come down. If the hands come down, guess what? Leaves him open for the head, and then I can do this. Ba 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 ba. Ooh, hook around the top right there. Great shot, great shot. So now my secret way of landing the lead hook. Like I said, on the lead hook to the body, you know, we get taught to slip and throw it, and it's great, and that's the correct way of doing it, and that's where you're gonna get lots of power into the punch. And I used to practice that, but the way that I used to land it, and the way my thoughts behind it is, when I, I'm in there with someone experienced, even though I've got a really good left hook to the body, I would lean, whoom and throw it, but as soon as I leaned, that split second is enough for someone who's advanced to drop the right elbow, and I would be hitting the arm, I would be missing. So what I did, and what did I, I made up myself that no one taught me this, I just figured out how to do it, was remove the lean, remove the weight transfer. And now you might be thinking, well how do you get power in it? Well, you're not gonna get the same amount of power in the punch as the slip body shot, but you're gonna get enough power in the punch to hurt someone and knock someone out, which I did many times in my career. So I'll be inside here. I would just throw little punches. And you know, if you've ever been inside with someone in sparring and you cover up and you're both here, you're not holding on, you're just inside here. I would throw the punches up, little light punches to the head. So I'm here, ba 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 ba. Where it might be, one, two hook, ba ba, one, two. Or even another good one is just a ba. It's a little uppercut, that's probably the best one. A little uppercut, touching it in. What's gonna happen? That arm's gonna come up, whip, then you can whip that body shot in, and watch how much power I get with an arm punch. So I'm there, boom, boom. I'm not turning my hips. Boom, boom. I'm just using my arm power. But watch this, you tell me if you think this would hurt. So I'm in, I'm in, touch, 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 touch. Yeah, you can see that? Show you again from here. So I'm inside, so I'm just here, hip, here, here. So I might just keep playing with him. Just keep waiting, just keep waiting until I see that gap. There, nothing with my feet. This is warm, whipping with the arm. Again, I'm here, try this guys. Now he's not expecting that. No one expects that and it lands and it works. And I've finished so many people off. Again, you're not gonna get that solid warm power in, but you're gonna get enough to hit someone. And when you're hitting someone with a body shot, if they're not expecting it, it's gonna hurt. 
I do lots and lots of shoulder and body sparring now. I don't get hit in the head anymore. And I sometimes get hurt when I'm sparring with someone and I really don't expect the punch coming. You know, I spar with people who's got way less experience than me, the novices in boxing and they're brand new to it. And because they're brand new to it, they might throw an unorthodox shot and it hits us when I'm relaxed. And I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. But I'm not showing them that I'm feeling it. I keep a nice poker face on. And that is for a different video. All right, guys, so yeah, that's a great way of landing that left hook to the body. That's my secret method. Now let's move on to the rear hook to the body. Now this is a great punch to throw. And I, more for setting other punches up than power. And how we even throw that is from being inside, just turn into it. Now, with the lead side, you know, you've got to slip and come over to get the power, or, or this is an arm shot. With the rear side, because of the way your hips are and your stance is, you're going to throw it and you're going to get power into it anyway by just turning the hips and throwing it correctly. So I'm here on the bag and I'm just going to throw it there. And because I turn the hips, you know, I'm getting the weight behind the punch. There. And now, another thing you can do with this punch, that's one way if you're inside, you can play with the lead hand. Play with the lead hand. I like to step, boom, step to the side, then throw it. And just like the straight right hand of the body, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, just turn it around. And now when you are throwing this shot, you wanna aim for around the elbows. You wanna always get around the elbows. So if you're on a heavy bag, you wanna just visualize putting some sweat on there. Now see that, I'm working hard. That's the elbow. You can put a line of tape there, a line of tape there, and you wanna try and get around that. If you're throwing the hooks and they're like coming here in the center, you're gonna hurt your hands on someone's elbows. Or if you're just training for fitness, you know, you all, you wanna still try and get around there. So put a couple of pieces of tape there, and I'm inside, getting round that elbow to make it count and to make it work. Yeah, and it's great to set up all the punches, because if you think I'm inside with someone, I throw that, that hand's coming down. I'll come over there. So throw the body, throw the head. And you also add that rear hook into a combination, it might be a, Jab, hook, hook. So I've jabbed the head, hooked the body, then hooked the body. I'm gonna talk all about combinations in the other section. But right now, to get power in it, the rear hook the body, you need to really turn your hips and get your body weight behind it. And it'll look like this. Oh, solid shot, solid shot. And it's like I said, great shot to set up with. Now let's move on to the next body shot, which is a bolo to the body. You might not have heard of that phrase before. It's kind of like an uppercut to the body and it's an absolutely great punch. It's hard to land, but it's a great punch. I remember when I was fighting Kenny Egan in the Olympic semi-finals, he was well known for stopping his opponents with bah, this shot here, hitting people right in the solar plexus. If you hit someone hard with that there, they're done. And I was really wary about his body shot, his bolo punch, going into the Olympics and going into that fight with them. So how do you do it and when would you do it? Well, the bolo punch, it's kind of like if you think someone's got their arms there, you're gonna go through the middle of the arms with the hand, twisting the hand as you go through. The other way of doing it is just punching straight like this. And the reason you would do that is because, you know, it, it makes your fist shorter to get through. And if I can't ever get through someone's hands because they're too tight, and then I would probably touch them upstairs to try and open the hands up and then throw it that way. But, but I wouldn't recommend that. I would always recommend practicing it this way, getting it through there. Because with this, you can really get your body weight behind it and it feels so good. So there's a couple of ways of doing this. You know, one way I can be inside and I might be touching and then just throwing it there, turning the hand and getting it through. Or another way, the way I prefer, is a longer way. And this is the kind of way that the guy in the Olympics, Kenny Egan, used to do. And it would be like here. And if you see what I've done there, I would set it up with a long hook, long hook, boom, and then do it. Because if I'm setting it up with a long hook, you know, the hands are gonna come up to defend the hook and it's gonna come through. But it's a, a great combination to use or a great punch to use when you've got someone who's coming onto you, right? They might be rushing in, you might be here, you might be here, they might come in. And as they come onto that body punch, you know, you can get lots of power into it. And I think I've just done it wrong there. I'll have to watch it back, but you don't really wanna be having your chin up in the air like this. 
You want to kind of keep it close to your body and then throw it through, turning your hip, getting it long. Hard punch to throw, but when you start throwing it, you know, and, uh, and you'll, it'll make sense to you. I didn't really throw that much of a bolo to the body. Uh, I much prefer the straight right hand, but this is the ultimate guide to body punching, so it would be rude of me not to have it on there. Now, moving on to how to put punches into combinations. How can you use these body shots that you've just learnt into different combos? So many ways. Like, first one I want to talk about is the hook. So you can do a, a combination like this. Simple. Rather than the one, two of the head, two hooks to the body. And this is a great combination to throw to get someone to drop their hands. In fact, my favourite combination is four body shots, wait for the hands to drop, then come over the top, the top like this. <laughs> That's my favourite combination of all time, should I say. I love that. Four the body, hands come down, bop, and there's a video of me where I'm in with a guy who's taller than me, and he's pulling me head down, I've got him on the ropes, I just throw these four punches, or six punches, then come over the top, and here's the video here. As you can see, he's taller than us, I'm on the ropes, ba ba ba, throw them, wait for the hands to come down, and whip that hook in to the head there. Other combinations that you can do is a uh, jab the head, right hand the body, left hook the head, right hand, hook the body. So it's a long combination. Again, after we jab the head, hands have come up, right hand the body, his hands have come down, hook to the head, two, then finishing off with that body shot. So I'm mixing up, going head, body, body, head. Keep mixing up and it's, it's great to do long combinations. Uh, one more time, ooh, that felt good. Ooh, that's a nice combination right there. And like I see it, the reason why is I'm setting up, I'm setting up the other punches as well. Now you can do combinations with every body punch that we've went over. Just the basic first punch, a jab of the body. What you can do there, you can jab the body, come over with a right hand and a left hook. <laughs> Lovely combination. Other ones you can do, you can, like I said earlier on when I was on the jab of the body, jab of the body, jab of the body, feint the jab of the body, then come over with them too. And I'll show you that one one more time because this is one of me favorite ones, a favorite setup when I'm in the ring. I've jabbed the body, moving around. I might miss. I've jabbed the body. Again, I might miss. He's expecting that jab the body. This time, I feel the jab the body. Whoa, bah, bah, bah. Hands come down and whip them other punches in. Great way to set up. So when you are working on combination body punches, always have a theory behind it. Like think, if I do this combination, what will they do? How will they react? Then if they react that way, what will I do? So I'm throwing the punches. Are they going to counter? Are they going to defend? Are they going to drop the hands? Think about it and it might not work. It might not be a super realistic, but the chances are it is because if you're constantly hitting someone with body shots, it might be a bah, 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 bah. You know, they're going to be wary of that. So next time I do a bah, dip, bah, bah, they're going to think I'm going to throw that bah, bah, bah. They don't want to get hit with it, so they'll dip and then I can come over the top. So it'll be a bah, bah. See what I did there? That faint come over the top there and Ryan Garcia is an absolute beast at doing this with his left hook. You might have seen how he, he kind of feints his left hook to the head when it comes to the body. He did it great against Luke Campbell and stopped him with a body shot. Thinking they're going to go high, then go low. But the reason why the people think he's going to go high is because he's been throwing them high shots for all the fight. So yeah, trick him. Keep one step ahead of your opponent at all time. And that's how you land the body shots in. Now, before I show you how to take body shots, I just want to quickly tell you about my sponsor, Alpha Brain. Now keep this rig going, because it's important that I want to give you as much value as possible. And now if I tell you about this, it's giving you value, because this here is a supplement that I take daily that helps support my memory and me focus. And with me having two gyms in Los Angeles, a box and fitness education program, I've got over 40 employees working for us, I've got a YouTube channel, a social media page, I've got a lot going on in my life and I've got to be focused and my memory's got to be as sharp as it can be. So that's why I use Onnit Alpha Brain every day. And guys, if you want to get some Onnit Alpha Brain, use the link below. Go to onnit.com forward slash boxing and you'll get 10% off. And I wouldn't, and I say this on my videos, I wouldn't recommend any BS. If I didn't believe in this stuff, I would never put my name to it, no matter how much anyone paid us, because I'm not like that. Onnit.com forward slash Boxing will really help you support your memory and focus. Okay, body shots. And now moving on to taking body shots. We will get punched in the body. I've been hurt 
a few times with body shots in my career. One time I was sparring with a guy called Iram Greenwell in Sunderland ABC and he hit me in the body and I think that was the first and only time I ever got stopped with a body shot. I was on the ropes and I was like, Ugh! but that was right at the end of the round so I kind of got safe by the bell. And let me tell you, being hit with a body shot is horrible, it's the worst. I was sparring Jose Burton, who was a light heavyweight British champion. And Jose Burton, he was young at the time, he was like 17, 18. And I was a pro, just back from the Olympics, and I was taking it easy, taking it easy, and he whipped in with that warm left hook of the body, hit me clean. And that was probably one of the most I've ever been hurt with a body shot in my life. Of course, I wasn't expecting it. I stayed up, I finished the round, I continued sparring, doing more rounds, I didn't stop. But I just remember the pain. It was horrible. You can't breathe and you just want to stop. It makes you want to stop. So if you can master these body shots, you know, it's great. So if you're going to get hit with a body shot, how do you take body shots? It depends. Like I said, I can take body shots, good body shots all day, if I'm expecting them. If I'm not expecting them, it's a different story, like the two times I told you. So taking body shots that I'm expecting, I can be here right now, I'm super relaxed. It's hard to see, but my, my core is super tight. You can hit me with these hard body shots, and I'm relaxed, but it's tight. So we're learning how to breathe and keep that core tight when you're in a match. That doesn't mean you've got to be tight all the time, you know, all the time stiff up. No, you can stay relaxed. If I'm out of range, I know that you're not going to hit me. If, if I'm in the ring with you and, and you're there and I'm here, I can put my hands behind my back. I can pick my ears. I can do what I want. So now you're not going to hit. But when we get close, and, I'm, and I come close here, there's a chance I can take a body shot. Right now, I can come close automatically because of my experience, I tighten up my core a little bit. Now, my core's tight. I'm here, and you know, if a body shot comes, I'm taking that, you know? But it's when you it might get inside and relax, relax, then bah! Woo! That's what's gonna hurt. So learn about how to keep this core tight, because that will really help you taking body shots. Now moving on to defending body shots. How do we defend body shots? Well, there's a few ways, you know, I think the, the number one way is by keeping your elbows in. You know, when the body shots are coming, if it's a hook, you know, if you've got that elbow in, it's gonna be hard to, for them to land that body shot here. And my favorite defense of all time is the foot defense. If I'm not there to get hit, I'm never gonna get hit. So moving the feet is another great way to defend body shots. And a great way to counter as well, let's just say, let's just say I'm inside and this guy's threw a body shot there. If someone's, if he's threw a left hook to the body, I know his left hand is there. His left hand is there, what is he open for? Bop, that little punch there. So think about this as well, if you are spawning, as soon as someone hits us, bop, bop, I can fire that punch out. It's kind of like a button. Someone's pressing that button, your punch comes out. Someone presses this button, that punch comes out. And that's the best way to counter. Think about that. If they're throwing their body shots, you're defending on the elbows, that means their head's open. It's, it's impossible for me to throw body shots and keep my head fully protected, you know? So I'm here, bah, look, I, I, I can't, I'm open there. If he's, got the, if he's defending that round, boom, comes straight up. There, I'm, I'm open there. So think about that, if you are defending body shots, boom, 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 how to come back and counter them. If they press the button, you fire back. Now, the footwork is a great one, you know, slipping with, with them, if someone's throwing the body shot, slipping there. I'm not a big fan of parrying body shots. You can parry a body shot. If someone throws a big jab at the body and I knock it down there, because what's gonna happen is they're gonna do maybe what I told you, is faint the jab and come over. And I used to love being in the ring with someone where I'd throw a jab and they'd try and parry it like that. Because I knew the next time I threw that jab, whoop, that's gonna come down. Boom, big left hook over the top and the match might be over or I've hit him with a very hard shot. Before I end this video, I just wanna quickly say, send this to yourself in an email. Press the share button, get it in your inbox. So next time you wanna work on body punching, you've got this here and you'll not forget about it. I do that all the time with things that I wanna work on in the future. Email it to yourself so you've always got it there. You should definitely click here and watch this video next where I give you the rundown on everything boxing, footwork, how to punch harder, how to punch faster, how to defend, get better reactions, how to do combinations in boxing. Click here and check out this video. It's coming out, so it's coming out. Faint. Let it be here. Papa. Papa. <laughs>